Welcome back to Bible Block Stories with Auntie Jen. I'm Auntie Jen, and today we have our last story in our series about the events around Jesus' birth. It's based on Matthew 2, 1 through 12, and it's called Good News for the Wise Men. Now, these guys were scholars. They studied everything, old prophecies, stars, you name it. And they had seen this star appear in the sky, and it matched with some prophecies about the coming Messiah. So they had traveled very far, possibly for months, to come and see this newborn king of the Jews. Now, fortunately, by this time, Mary and Joseph had also found a new place to stay in a house. They weren't in the stable with the animals anymore. So let's see what happens now when the wise men arrive in Jerusalem. These guys are wise men. After Jesus had been born, they came to Jerusalem from very far away. They were asking around, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star in the sky, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was very concerned. And everyone else was too. So he gathered together some priests and teachers and asked them where the Messiah was supposed to be born. They told him that according to the prophecies of Micah, that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. The wise men probably hadn't seen this prophecy. Jesus was born in Bethlehem because his parents, Joseph and Mary, had come to town for Caesar's big census, the, the count of all the people. Then King Herod called the wise men in to see him. He asked them when the star had appeared, and then told them to search for the baby king in Bethlehem. He told them to find the child, and then report back to him so that he could go worship the baby also. So they left King Herod and continued to Bethlehem, following the star until they came to the house Joseph and Mary had finally found to stay in. When they saw the star had led them to the Messiah baby, they were filled with joy. They came inside the house and bowed down to worship baby Jesus. They also presented gifts. They brought gold. They brought expensive incense called frankincense. And they brought a valuable perfume called myrrh. These were the kind of gifts that someone would bring to a king during that time. Later, while they were sleeping, they had a dream with a warning not to go back to King Herod because he actually didn't want to worship Jesus but wanted to get rid of him. So when they left, they went home a different way and did not return to Jerusalem. Wow, the birth of Jesus was such an important event that even studying men from another country came to see him. And good thing God was watching out and warned them about Herod, though. Let's pray about it. Dear God, thank you for helping wise men from another country, even, to be part of your story. Please help us to be as eager as they were to study and find the truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this series of stories about Jesus' birth. There'll be more stories coming soon, so stay tuned. I will see you next time.